Hey y'all, welcome back to the channel. My name is Taylor and today I have an unboxing of a new Mac. This is the M4 MacBook Air and I'm so excited to be unboxing this for you today because it comes in an all new color, which is that sky blue. I'm so excited for this. I have another camera here set up so that I can kind of like give you the unboxing perspective here. So I'm gonna unbox it and then I'm gonna initially get it set up test some benchmarks, compare it to, like I have the, the M2 MacBook Air here in midnight blue, which is a darker blue. And I also have the 14 inch M4 MacBook Pro, which I will compare it to also as like a first impressions kind of thing. So without further ado, this video is not sponsored and let's go ahead and get right onto the unboxing, which I know the most exciting part is unboxing the UPS box. So let's go ahead and do that. There it is. All right. Video over UPS unboxing is finished. Woo. Oh my goodness. There it is. MacBook Air in sky blue. I went with the custom configuration because I didn't want like the base configuration. So this has 24 gigs of RAM. It has 512 gigs of storage and it also has the 10 core CPU and the 10 core GPU. My cat has taken the UPS box. It's got that familiar MacBook Air feel and weight since there isn't really any ch chassis changes this time around. I, you know what? I'm just going to jump right into it. Who cares about the accessories? Accessories are so boring. This, however, is beautiful. Look at that. So it is like a, it is like kind of like a silver blue. It is a very, very subtle. This is awesome. Okay, let me put this aside for a second because we also get a color matched braided charging cable, which is really cool to see. Love these. The white tip is still a little weird because it's not color matched. So you can just wrong side. There we go. Have a matching color. Very cool. And then also as a little configuration change, well, we have documentation here. And of course, there are no uh, stickers this time around, which would have been really cool with this color. I got the 70 watt charging brick. So this has just the single USB. I'm going to rip this off here because why not? This has the single USB but because it's 70 watts, it will fast charge. I think it's like 50% in under 30 minutes or something, which I valued more than the extra port. But yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and just open this up. And the little paper protector was just laying on the keyboard, nice. And there it is. You open up the MacBook Air and it just immediately starts up. So this is gonna go into setup mode. I'm gonna get it set up. Right out of the box without any software installed, I'm using roughly 60 gigs of the roughly 512 gigabytes available of storage. And those storage speeds are really fast. I'm getting 3,147 on the write speed and I'm getting 2,976 on the read speed, which is really, really nice to see. I'm running a Cinebench 2024 multi-core benchmark here and I wanted to just jump in before it completes. Looks like it's gonna squeak in right under the Apple M1 Max, but I wanted to see what the thermals are like, and it's hot, like especially there in the center. It is really, really hot. And then lifting it up, touching the bottom, same thing, the center, that is really hot. So yeah, if you were pushing this machine, it is gonna get hot. This is much hotter than the uh, M2, that's for sure. And looks like this completed 732 right under the Apple M1 Max, which this thing does not have a fan at all. So the fact that it got within striking distance of the M1 Max is pretty incredible. And here is the Geekbench 6 scores, 3600 on the single core, almost 15,000 on the multi-core. Let's compare the M2 MacBook Air, which is this one right here, 
this does not have the new anodization texture so it collects a lot of fingerprints and it is the midnight blue and this is the sky blue so much lighter both are blue but clearly the sky blue is much much lighter and then here is the space black of the macbook pro which looks quite a bit different this is not blue at all this is more of a gray color but there it is in comparison to the lighter blue and the darker blue of the macbook air so let's talk about high refresh rate gaming so i have my macbook air connected to the alienware aw3225qf which is a 4k 240 hertz gaming monitor and here it is setting defaulting to 1080p and it is set to 240 hertz i like the 2560 by 1440 scaling and you can see that it still is at that 240 hertz here i have hades 2 pulled up this is a steam game that way i can have the fps counter this is probably about the only game that will run at high frames on this laptop but um yeah currently getting like 50 frames which is a little lower than I expected. It might be because I am recording. Oh yeah, it did, it bumped it up. So that's kind of inconvenient. I might have to hold the camera and show you, but um, yeah, getting high frames per second here. And this just highlights the, uh, there's the frames per second so that you know that I'm not lying. It went up, it went from 50 to now 100, but yeah, it just offers so much more benefit on a screen like this with high refresh rate. I'm here in Final Cut doing a video editing test. This is footage from my GoPro, which is 10-bit footage, and it is recorded in HLG HDR. So I have those settings set for the video itself, and then for the player, I have it set to better quality. So there is no reduction in quality here when editing this video. And I'm just starting out simply here. I have a slow little pan in to the rocks there to kind of frame myself. So I'm gonna go and I'm gonna go to that keyframe and then I'm just gonna play it in kind of a fast paced motion until I make a movement. Just going along, slightly adjusting, making sure that the camera is on me and following me just like I would do on my regular editing laptop pretty much done that's the end of the clip right there and then it moves on to a, another clip so what i want to do with this is i just want to go into here and i want to apply just some noise reduction here it's going to process with the little bars there all right it's finished that took about a minute Applying noise reduction to clips does take a bit of time. This is like a what, a 30 second clip. So for a 30 second clip, noise reduction took about two minutes. But I think more impressively is the scrubbing it is just super, super clean. Like there is no lag at all in the scrubbing. So that is Pretty good, pretty good initial impression for um, editing video. It, it seems like it, it handles it really well. Leave your comments down below if you want to see a full review of this MacBook Air. Let me know what you think of this device and if, whether or not you picked this up or thinking of picking this up, or if you have any questions on this, that would be really helpful for a review. Thank you all so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Three minutes, 34 seconds. That's the time that it took to render this whole video, which is eight minutes, 49 seconds long. Just a little bonus for you guys who stayed till the end to reveal how long it took to render this entire video entirely on the MacBook Air. It's pretty sweet.